Hello there. This is Brother James Anthony Allen. I'm in Henderson, North Carolina. So, in any event, this is the IJAC channel. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you uh, um, subscribe and have other people subscribe. subscribe. Tell other people about this. You got to uh, help each other and we got to team up, okay? We have to network together. E e Blessings is a network, it's networking. And I'm up on Facebook to network, not to throw my pictures up so everybody can see. So Facebook can use it in Asia, China, Japan or whatever. No, <laughs> I'm here to network because you Christians act like you're not in a war. You act like you're not in a battle, okay? And you act like you're running hard to be like Abraham. They have the stuff of Abraham that Jesus, God gave Abraham. <coughs> Abraham already had stuff. Abraham already had stuff, okay? He already had stuff. He didn't get that stuff from God. God added on to what he had, but he already had stuff. So, now, I'm up here preaching to you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm here to read the uh, Ajax, and I got my feet, my socks off, my shoes off, and uh, the AC's running, and so I just, I just started to sniffle since I, I uh, so this is sniffle from me, testing positive for tuberculosis all my life, hating AC most of my life, love that it's cold, but whenever AC comes on, it, I have to fight the flu all my life with AC on. I have to make sure I have enough clothes on to stay warm with AC on. AC is deadly to me. A uh, fog, I, fog, deadly to me. Well, it's not deadly to me. What it is is I avoid it because I know it'll make me sick and deathly ill. Okay, I, I've, yeah. There's a lot in this book. You really want to get this book. All my books, all the books associated with these blessings are wonderful God inspired books holy ghost inspired full of wisdom knowledge and understanding all right this is chapter six uh part b removing stress removing stress removing stress i have since learned to remove any and all stresses which i can remove out of my life for example my wife at that time elizabeth recently asked me why i spent so much money on plant pots in the living room I'm not remembering that part but why I spent so much money on plant pots in the living room first of all I bought the cheapest ones I could find which fit the aesthetics of the room but what she didn't know was that for seven years I had been looking at cheap brown plastic pots not clay plot pots mind you uh, which are more expensive and used for outside potted plants. I had planned seven years ago to buy dec decorative, uh, decorative pots for the affordable, I mean, instead of the uh, affordable plastic brown pots, okay, for my plants to sit in. I, I had also purchased seven years earlier bags of, of uh, flat one to three inch pebbles to place in those pots purely for decoration but for some reason or another and money wasn't the issue i had not put those plastic pots in the uh, decorate decorated pots with the pebbles it may have been because i knew that it was going to that i was going to hear grief about it why 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 did i do this it's, it's just an issue with the evidently about pots uh plant pots okay I have clay saucers that are, uh, what, 18 inches in diameter or something like that, cost uh, $16. And a, and a clay pot that's two feet tall costs about $35, $45 or something ridiculous, okay? Uh, and that's why it's an issue if you buy three or four of these big pots and these saucers, you're spending like uh, $70 basically for, for one plant or a group of plants to go in these big pots. All right. I had planned seven years ago to buy decorative pots for the affordable plastic, uh, instead of the affordable uh, plastic brown pots. Oh, I was going to buy the ex expensive, more expensive pots to put the brown pots in. Okay. 
because I saw white people doing that. I said, oh, that'd be cool. You know, that's a waste of pot. <laughs> but for one reason or another, and the mother, and money wasn't the issue, I had not put those plastic pots in the de de decorated pots with the pebbles. It may have been because I knew that I was going to hear grief about it. Why? Why? Why did I do this? I had accumulated stress over the course of seven years. It built up and built up until it festered into a physical manifestation. The spiritual and the physical are connected. Remember that they're connected. So if you got a sickness, it's related to some uh, physical sin. Okay, physical sin and spiritual physical sin. <laughs> they're connected, let me just tell you. Please don't let this happen to you. I love you too much for you to go through the stress-related negative physical manifestations, especially the ones that I have been going through. Oh, that was all. The doctor told me that he thought I was suffering from stress and he was going to run some tests. He had to get his money's worth out of this visit, you know. They get their money's worth out of you. When they find out you're from the Fed or some corporation, oh, they start working those tests on you. But I was glad to have him run as many tests as he wanted. I just wanted to get better, to be better. Plus, do you think I believed him when he told me that I had stress? No way. I thought I had AIDS or something like that. Well, not AIDS, but who knows what it was. Cancer, I just had no idea. Um... I have a little thing here that says, don't make God send Jesus come rescue you from your stress. It's a little... This has been a production of the Each One, Bless One International Network. Each One, Bless One. Make sure you subscribe, hit the bell notification, like the video, and share it. Thank you and have a wonderfully blessed day in the Lord Jesus, who is the Christ. Come, Lord Jesus, come. Come, Lord Jesus, come.